nights with Poe and Monroe. and Monroe. You're listening to Radio August. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. That gets me every time. Lucky we're not in the shower, then. Why do girls always get stabbed in the movies? I think it's a metaphor. Having said that, I'm an equal opportunity stabber. Oh, pointy. How very noble. And on that note, what's next, Monroe? It's on the schedule, silly. I know that. I'm just making it sound like you have a choice. Okay, then. What shall I choose? Let me see. I choose a long walk on the beach. Ah, yes. With the moon's bright eye bobbing on the black tide. No. The sun is shining, and the sand is hot and soft between my toes. Wouldn't you like to walk on a beach with me, Pope? Alas, I fear I would burst into flames at the sun's first embrace. But you are outside this afternoon. Then I must simply hate the beach. That's a shame. I hate skinny dipping alone. I'd never dream of letting you skinny dip on your own. And talking of wet dreams. Dreams. And nightmares. With Pearl Excellent and Monroe. choice, Monroe. I didn't have one really, did I? You always have a choice, Monroe, but that doesn't mean you can change things. Do you think anyone's listening? Of course. We're the only radio station in August. And if you're just passing through, we mean August the town, not the month. What else are people listening to? Radio 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Each other? But we have something they don't. What's that? You. Shush, Po, you'll get tongues wagging. Indeed. Talking of tongues that wag, we have a caller. Are you ready for a dream? <sighs> My whole life. Frankie, you're live with Monroe. Hi, Frankie. What a beautiful voice you have. Well... Thank you. I think all voices are beautiful. What do you think to Poe's voice? I hate it. Okay. So, what's your dream, listener? I'm in August, and wherever I go, all I can hear is the radio. It's everywhere. It's loud and relentless, but there's this... bird. She cuts through the noise and guides me. I listen to the bird, and I fall blissfully asleep. That's very interesting. People dream about their surroundings a lot. And a dream within a dream? That's nothing to worry about either. What do you think, Poe? I think you have a hardcore fan, Munro. What did the bird look like, Frankie? Beautiful. Angelic. But it's trapped in a cage. A prison. But there's only one warden. And the warden is weak. There's a warden? Another bird. With a rumbling voice that makes me angry. It plumes its feathers, but my bird? 
the one that calls me. She's not interested in him. And she's caged. Monroe, this is obviously a prank. He's talking about us and trying to be funny. But it's a dream. I never said it was a dream. Well, I think um, we've had quite enough of this. Listen to the warden jangling his keys. Don't you see he's imprisoned you, Ellis? Well, um, Frankie, we don't use our first names on air, so I'm just going to stop you there. Dreams. And nightmares. With Poe and Monroe. And we'll be back with more dreams and nightmares later. But first, August, how about a short, dark tale to chill the nerves? And we're clear. Well, that went well. Indeed. Just another totally normal person calling into our show. I don't know how we attract them. I do. How long is this story? It's just a quickie, but if you'd like it longer, there's plenty more I could queue up. I can still hear you. Uh, sorry, Frankie. Thank you for your dream. Thank God he told us. That could have been awkward. Very. Maybe I'll just have a cold shower. What are you doing? I'm stretching. Is that allowed? Of course. I just thought, should relax. Sit. Close your eyes, maybe. And what if I don't? You'd have to punish me, wouldn't you, Mr. Warden? Ellis, I... I've been very naughty. What's that? I think you know what it is. No. That. Oh, that's nothing. Ignore it. Uh, uh, don't... I'm going to kill you. What the hell, Poe? Why were you hiding this from me? It's just some psychotic listener, that's all. Frankie? Not necessarily. We have lots of psychotic listeners. How can you joke about this as a death threat? It's clearly a death threat. I knew it would upset you, but I'm an old hand at this, Alice. People see you as a celebrity. It makes them do abnormal things, but they're just normal people. When did you find it? Someone slipped it under the door. Just now? Well, yes, but it's nothing to worry about. We've been getting them for the last few weeks. Weeks? Maybe a month. So that could be a killer behind the door. Maybe, but never when I've looked. Oh. It isn't locked, Alice. People can just walk in anyway. Oh. There. I told you it was nothing to worry about. T? You're not going out there. You're going live. Understood. I think I'm gonna go home. Don't be like that. How could you keep this from me? I thought you cared about me. What if I'd been killed? You know, I'd never let anyone hurt a single hair on your head. Well, that's not entirely true, is it? I don't know what you mean. You know exactly what I mean. Let's not get into that now. We're back with our listeners in three, two, You'd have been a sacrificial shish kebab if it wasn't for me. <laughs> oh, Bo, that sounds like a great story, but it'll have to wait, because we're back with our listeners and more dreams and nightmares. Okay, who's our next listener? It's Frankie again. 
put him through. Frankie, you're live with Monroe. I didn't finish what I had to say. I'm sorry about that. You can carry on now. Sometimes the radio gets too much. It makes me... frustrated. So I go into the belly of the beast, and I hide, and I listen, and I wait. So this is a dream that breaks into other dreams. Of course, there are no segues for dreams. Poe? The belly of the beast. Have you been leaving messages, Frankie? Yes, John. Yes, I have. Have you been getting them? What did the messages say? I'm going to kill you. I see. And why would you dream about wanting to kill me, Frankie? Hello? Police? Help! Someone's threatening to kill Poe right now on Radio August. It's not a dream, John. I'm coming for you. And Alice. Police can hear you, Frankie. You're live on air. They will find you. Better hope they're not too late. No, don't. I'm not hiding, Monroe. Just wait for the police. Hide. Hide. I hope you enjoyed, fair listeners. Everything you just heard was an elaborate fiction. The first of many fictional dramas on dark nights with Poe and Monroe. 